we are a company based in um, England. We specialise in Holocaust theatre education. Um, we go around schools in, and theatres and um, we put on two performances every year. Every year we do like two new plays. We have two separate, comp two separate like, performance groups, but every so, every so often the two shows perform like, on the same night and things like that. And tonight we're performing a play that we've done last year called, or an excerpt of it, called I Never Saw Another Butterfly. And it's... So, tell us a little bit about uh, the performance that's going to be played tonight. The performance is called I've Never Saw Another Butterfly. It was uh, a piece which was originally at the beginning of the art last year. It was the, one of the first pieces that our theatre company ever done because we've only been around for a year. This, this marks kind of the anniversary of the performance from last year. It's to do with um, a group of children who are going to Theresian Strat or from Theresian Strat being sent to uh, concentration camps from there. And um, it's something that I literally only got involved in the past couple of months and have had to learn quite, quite a lot about since then. But it's something that we feel strongly and passionately about that the message needs to still be spread and carried on because uh, although it was in the past, there's a lot of relevant issues from the Holocaust which are still representative today and can be, can be taught. Okay, and I understand that you have come all the way from Israel to be here. Um, tell, tell our viewers how you got involved in uh, a British-based uh, theatre performance. Um, technically, I was uh, born in Israel, but I've been living in England for a number of years. Um, I am an actor and a theatre manager, and I was approached by our artistic director, Kate Hibbert, who was a theatre manager for 17 years, uh, who decided to leave her job and start a brand new company based on her research of the Holocaust. Um, and I found out that this was a perfect opportunity to spread the word and send uh, the right message about remembering what happened in the Holocaust and how to send the message forward for the future. Um, and so far it's been the perfect opportunity not just to be part of a community uh, and to reflect on society and humanity but also perform some of the best um, emotional pieces you can. Um, and the scripts so far have been just the most eye-catching and um, emotional pieces you could possibly do um, and we, we've, we've worked on uh, stories based on the Warsaw Ghetto survivors who haven't been uh, remembered it's in, in a way that we portray them as uh, heroes unsung heroes um, and we were trying to we were trying to get theatre across as something that's more involving in terms of how we deal with people and society and what kinds of audiences have you performed in the past? Just Jewish audiences, or has it been more varied? I think, yeah, it's a variety. It's, um, mostly people that um, are in either interested in the subject or um, interested in human rights in general, because um, we, um, we strive to um, show the, um, the more positive sides of, like, um, like uh, yeah, the, resist yeah, the sense of resistance, because that's very rarely, it's very rarely touched upon in schools. So we want to show that people did fight back, people did hold on to their hope, and they did, they, yeah, they, yeah, it's not just like these people were tortured and hurt, it was like they, these people had, they had their humanity to hold on to, they, they wanted to keep on to that, they didn't, they didn't just lie down and take it. And that is, and I think that does attract quite a few people to our shows, because it's not something that is often like shown in, um, like film and like documentaries and things like that that we have in England. Because we are specifically ed educationally based as well, the main thing is like to go through schools and anyone that doesn't know about the Holocaust to kind of give them education on it pretty much. We are, um, we are Europe's uh, only uh, Holocaust uh, educational theatre company, uh, so it's a really big opportunity to uh, not only fill that gap in the market but also make sure that we send the right message and we come across to some people that really believe in this cause. And have you guys ever performed in Israel? No, not yet. Not yet. Hopefully. Would you like to? I would, yes, I would really like so, to, yeah, to be yeah, honest. Definitely.